actually had this thing in high school where I would teach guys how to make out in a bathroom. So there'd be a line of guys waiting to make out with me. So I always had, like, that energy of trains, like, in me. Trains yeah, are my passion. passion. I think it's a really right? empowering thing to do as a woman because you're all here. Right? Yeah, they're all here for me. It's everything I say goes. Like, there, no one goes over the line. It's only what exactly what I want to do. I think it's a, all women should do it. This just made, she just turned a train into a woman's empowerment movement. I have seen it all. I have seen it all. A train is empowering. Ladies, I want to go ahead. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't have y'all pictures on y'all um, YouTube account. Just go ahead and comment in the comment section. Uh. Have you ever dreamt of uh, being uh, DP'd? I just want to know. Just answer that in the in the comment section. Have you thought, or is this one of your fantasies, to have two guys at the same time? I did a video and I said I think that a lot of women fantasize of being with two men at the same time. You know, all hands on deck type situation. Am I wrong? Let me know if I'm wrong. What is the toxic trait out there? Hey, what's a big red flag though? Big red flag? Bad. See that? You funny. You hugging that video? Alright. <laughs> like, I'm not even doing this for the content. Hey. I'm being 100 for real. Hey, and I'm glad I'm making your go viral because I'm gonna have it. Like, on my daughter. Hey, rip that off me. Rip that bracelet off me. Hey, hey, rip this bracelet off me. Rip this bracelet off. Rip it off. There you go. Bro, he said, you funny. You hugging off. I don't disagree with him. Feeling some type of way that she just hugging random. What the f***? We on a date? Or we out chilling and you just hugging people? And y'all seen that hug? That was penis to poom poom connection. Now nah, we, mm -mm. I'd have left too. You think men want women who dress provocatively or modestly? I think men should not give a f Why shouldn't men care? Because why are you complaining about seeing your f your woman in some fine ass clothing? If you can't handle a bad f don't date one, baby. You don't think that sometimes you should just preserve that bad bitch energy for your man and your man only? The f I look like a wife. But you want to be. No, I don't. Why not? I don't know. I'm I'm 23. I'm not thinking about that shit. When a man looks... Yo, I am not going to lie. As a 30-something-year-old man, being on the internet, watching videos of people in their early 20s, even being out here walking around people in their early 20s, y'all are fucking stupid. Y'all think certain shit be cool. Y'all think saying certain shit is cool. I didn't understand that. Uh, Bigsby, mind your business. I didn't understand that. My bad. Some of y'all don't understand that Android, you know what I'm saying? Is that you? And you come out like this in Austin. What do you think he thinks? I do not give a f about what any man thinks of me. Facts. She really doesn't. <laughs> she really doesn't. <laughs> I don't care. Please stop with that, that pancake. That hurts you in the long run. I don't give a could it be that you're just in pain? Bro, the world is dying. Why would I give a f The world is dying. Do you dying. still dress just like this if you had a man? Yes. Yes, I would. And if you get, can't handle that, don't date me. Simple as that. I don't know when did this bad bitch mentality become a thing, but y'all need to get rid of it, okay? Y'all need to... You know what, fellas? I feel as though, man, we need to start moving with the same energy. Instead of being on the internet complaining about modern women and we have this whole red pill movement and all that, f*** that. Move with the same energy, fellas. Know your worth, my Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm dating you and you moving like this, oh, it's gray sweatpants all summer. Some of y'all can't do that. Some of y'all may not may not be built for that type of situation. I'm a bad bitch, you shouldn't be trying to tell me what to wear. All right, cool. 
Well, bitch, um, the Lord bestowed his blessings on me, so I'm out here uh, giving thanks. Now, I'm be honest. You can gray sweatpants all summer all you want, but uh, it's niggas like Dwight Howard running around. I'm just throwing it out there now. You know, rock the, rock the sweatpants at your own discretion. I live in Atlanta, so I'm just talking. I know better. Okay, thousand pound tiger shark swimming up from the bottom. You hurry and swim back down to him. Stiff arm his nose with one hand, close his mouth with the other, push his body in another direction away from you. See, anyone can do this. A bullshit? <laughs> that got white folks written all over it, man. I'm telling y'all, bro. White folks are fearless. When it comes to nature, White folks are fearless, dog. I ain't stiff arming no goddamn tiger shark. I wouldn't even think to do that. I oughta drown. I oughta drown before that motherfucker eat me. I can't swim anyway. So. What's the weirdest thing somebody's asked you to do in bed? Bro, you really wanna know? Yes. You really wanna know? <laughs> yes. You really wanna know? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. He was like, "Where's your use socks?" I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, where's your used socks? He's like, I want to put them on. He put them on. He was like, I want to know what's like to live through you. And he put in my socks on. And yeah, we f like that. Yeah. So he put on your socks? My socks. I was like, my socks. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he put my socks on. That's yeah. not that bad. No, f no. What the f That no. weirded you out. And that, that was it. That was it. That was it. And he still smashed though. He did. he did such smash, yeah. Don't do that. What's the weirdest thing? So um, first off, uh, is either this man's pipe game is extremely trash, and he has no experience, or he must be extremely talented, because for me, when I'm doing what I need, what needs to be done, I gotta take my socks off, cause. I need the grip, okay? When I'm ge when I'm getting up in there, I need the grip. Sometimes my toes, I grip the floor with my toes, and I, you know, you, we all grown here. You know, you be sliding when you get them socks when you got that socks on. You know, you be sliding when you got that socks on. So now this man must be extremely talented. Y'all gonna be held accountable. This my. I want to talk about my son. Y'all want to work for him? You talking about my son? You talking about my son? These guys, everybody on the internet, see these guys? They work for him, and they accept it. And if they don't accept it, and if you yo, bro, he said he in a coffin. By them, that whole all y'all responsible. Let's see. You two, Kenny. That's Kenny Wood. Right? Go around in there, Kenny Wood. What's your name? Google y'all. He's talking about my son. Yo, this man said your son is in a coffin dead. Oh my, yo, nah, yo, bro. This man said your son is in a coffin dead. All my sons are alive. Bro. I'm speaking as a father. I don't know what I'll do. I'm speaking as a father and a gun owner. I don't know what I'll do. I don't uh, knock on wood. You know what I'm saying? I hope my son buries me and I don't have to bury him. Um, yo, what? D that is insane, bro. The level of disrespect. He's making fun of his son being dead, bro. Nah, you gotta go, bro. I'm sorry. You gotta go. I don't have sex out of relationships. How do you get into the relationship? Through conversation, through getting to know someone. Through... And then you don't, you don't try before you buy it? I don't try before I buy When We're getting to know each other, yeah? Yeah. You want, I want to put all my attention into you. But after a while, once we're talking to each other, you got a duty of care to look after me. You know what I'm trying to say? That? I've got needs and stuff. Oh, 100%. I believe, I believe that. Exactly. I have got a duty of care to look after you yeah, so when you're my man. How do we get there? So are maintaining you a healthy relationship together. So before we're in a relationship mm -hmm. and we're just talking yeah. and just dating and stuff, yeah. are you cool with me sleeping with other people? Absolutely not. So you want me to go on a quest of celibacy while I get to know you? Yes. 
This is ridiculous. It's just showing your loyalties and your commitment. Why do I need to be loyal to you? I don't even know you like that. We're getting to know you. Yeah, because you want to make it something. You're trying to pursue something with me. So There's no jeopardy there. So if you gave me something, that would make me... Want to stay. No, not want to stay, but take away the distractions. Forget about but everybody else. But this is else. what I mean. Mentally train yourself to not be distracted so that you can focus on one Whoa. person. Whoa! <laughs> Stop the cat! And energy there and loyalties. While she Stop the cat! But I want to have sex. Yes, so graft for it. Nothing easy should, should come that easy. Someone giving you their body should not be that accessible. What kind of graft are you talking about? Like, you want, how, what kind of graft is that? I have to be your boyfriend. Like, that's a different kind of graft. Not just get to know you and be cool. You're trying to tell me graft and I'm being your boyfriend. You have to make that initial commitment because why am I going to give myself to you? And then you say, well, actually, it's not for me the next day. If I had a daughter, I would want her to maintain those type of rules. <laughs> it sounds so foul. If I have a daughter, I want her to maintain those type of rules. Now, if I'm out here dating, bitch, I'm not finna be a born-again version for you. I'm just being honest. And that's because of American culture. Now, don't crucify me for this, but I feel as though the dating culture in America is very toxic. I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from being in the game, and I'm speaking from being on the sidelines. You will be dating a girl. And you would be committed, like how she wants you to be committed, and then find out that she has five other dudes on the roster. And while you're being committed, and probably another four of the other guys are being committed, or the other three guys are being committed, it's one motherfucker cracking them cheeks, busting them cheeks wide open. She got you out here moving like Buddha. You ain't seeing no cheeks. Dry, but somebody up there, somebody out there using their fishing pole to dig up all the tilapia. It's the truth. Don't, don't, don't judge me. It's the truth. That's why it's so hard to do what she's saying. But I don't, I don't disagree with her. I just feel as though <laughs> it depends where you at. Word got back to me that uh, some guy was gonna ride through there and try to uh, knock me off. They know that I wore that hat, so they were gonna look for the hat because nobody knew what I really looked like. So I gave the guy my house. Hey, man, you want this hat? You have it. He go outside. I'm looking in the window because I know they're out there somewhere. Thing that's the I heard. I step back from the window, pull my gun, put it to the side in case they decide to come out and run up and see if he did. But they didn't. They kept on going down Clark. They took off from Clark and hit that freeway. They gone, you know. But uh, the guy didn't die. But he got shot up. But he didn't die. And uh, I was like, Hey man, what the hell going on? I was like, damn, man. Somebody don't like you. You don't know what the guy, man. They didn't say nothing. They just drove by and said, hey. I was trying to look at it. They just blast me. I said, hmm, hmm, hmm. The word got back to me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say nothing too crazy. I done seen uh, documentaries on this man. Uh, this man is a certified assassin. Um, he is savage, though, bro. Could you imagine that? That's why you can't take free you can't take free stuff from people. Rules, rules of the hood. You got to be careful who you around. You got to be careful who you giving rides in your car. Even if, it could be your friends, bro. You got to be careful. I know a guy that's crippled right now because he decided to take one of his friends home and the car got shot up and he got shot in his back and now he can't walk. The reason his car got shot up was because the person he was giving a ride home had beef. First off, I know they kicked his ass out the park. And secondly, you cannot take black folks anywhere. What's your name? Minju. Minju. Um, I like your outfit. It's pretty, so pretty. Minjo, can I, can I get your hand? Oh, very sexy. I like it. Don't worry about it. Why are you dressed like this beautiful? I'm going clubbing. Which club are you going? To? I don't know. We're just gonna like walk around all the club. Great. Okay. Your English is pretty good. How did you study? You're talking for us. Ah, I've been living abroad since I was eight years old. My school is um American school, so. All my friends are like foreigners. How old are you? 21 years old. What is like the most expensive gift you bought for your boyfriend? Dear Cushion. Like how much? It was like 90,000 won. What's like the most expensive what is gift 90, you've received from anyone? Gucci ring, $400. A ring? 
Yeah. What do you search you? No, I don't. You don't have it anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Last question, what is your Instagram ID? Or maybe TikTok? Instagram ID? Anyone? I don't have TikTok, I only have Instagram. All right. Mm -hmm. M-I-N under dash underscore J underscore K draws three. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh, that Asian persuasion is real persuading. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. So it's some Asian women. They like real, ha. You know, it's like real cute. You feel me? That that shit is attractive. It's it's like they have a, they have an innocent energy about them. And that's that's really attractive. Like her energy is like real innocent. And it's pretty attractive. Now, I've never been in a relation I've had relations with an Asian chick before. She was Japanese, but I've never been in a relationship with an Asian woman. And so I don't know how they are in relationships. You know what I'm saying? Cuz it would hurt my feelings if she that cute and she got that innocent energy, but behind all that innocent energy is straight up is a straight up demon that'll hurt my feelings <laughs> and it could be possible but for now we're just gonna say minju i give minju a 10 i give minju a 10